It's now been more than a week since Yen Soaring and Elizabeth Hasem were granted parole, and tonight the investigator who helped put them behind bars decades ago is speaking out. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant sat down with Major Ricky Gardner, who recalls how tough it was to swallow the scrutiny all these years. I don't know if you've ever been scrutinized for something that you did 35 years ago, but it's not fun. The Bedford County Sheriff's Major, Ricky Gardner, has been silent the last three decades until now. Common sense tells you that the only two people that benefited from the death of her parents was, was Soaring and, and Elizabeth. There was never anybody else that had any motive, means, or op opportunity to to kill the Hasem. Yen Soaring and Elizabeth Hasem, who were convicted for the murder of Hasem's parents, Derek and Nancy, in 1985, were granted parole last week. I was uh, very disappointed. Soaring spent the last several years pleading his innocence. A support group reopened his case while some criticized Gardner's investigation. I've been accused of withholding evidence. I've been accused of uh, burying evidence. Gardner says responding to the critics served no purpose. He's been interviewed several times in the last few years by parole board investigators who traveled to Bedford to revisit the crime scene. At the end of the day, I knew that the only people that I had to defend the case to was the parole board and the governor. So they, they were the ones that I wanted to to make sure that had the facts. Despite the release, Gardner is satisfied and proud of the work he and others put into the case, especially knowing Soaring's pardon was not granted. It feels pretty good to be vindicated after all these years that I was actually right all along. While Soaring and Hasem are now preparing to live life in their native countries, Germany and Canada, Gardner can move on too. And I just want to put this in the rearview mirror and taking the high road. In Bedford, I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. Gardner tells us he plans to retire next year and is glad this case was put to rest before he leaves the sheriff's office.